Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm here at Kuala Lumpur Golf Country Club this morning and I'm here in this bunker about 40 yards away from the pin. I would say this is one of the toughest shots in golf, so today I'm going to show you how to hit the shot on the green. This is what I see some golfers do. They will treat the shot just like the greenside bunker, or just close the club a little bit and try to catch it as clean as possible. But sometimes my, they might top the shot straight over the green. Or you see some golfers using a longer club and try to bump and run it. But what happens if you have a bunker in front of the green? So you, some of, you see some of them try to bump and run it, end up topping the ball, hit it straight into the lip or duffing it and lift it in the bunker, okay? So today I'm gonna to show you how to hit it out consistently. Before deciding on what club to hit or what shot to hit, you're gonna make sure you analyze the situation, how far you have exactly to the pin, how far you need to carry to get the ball on the green, how high is the lip, and the sand situation. Is it hard, is it soft, okay? Right here, the sand is pretty, pretty hard. I would say it's more towards the hard side. So I have a pitching wedge in my hand over here. It's gonna go for 40 yards. I know a lot of uh, players have their own ways to hit it out. Some of them would prefer a 50 degree, 54 degree. Some of them try to hit it with a 58 degree clean. And sometimes it works, especially for pros. They know what to do. They practice so much. But today I'm just gonna show you one way that I think will be able to help you hit it out consistently. So I have a pitching wedge in my hand. I would choose to use a pitching wedge because it will give me a little bit more distance without having to make a big swing. So I'm going to show you some tips how to get this started. So number one, I have a pitching wedge in my hand. You're just going to make sure you open the club just a little bit. So let's say the toe of the club is pointing at 12 o'clock. I'm going to open it and point it towards 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock, okay? Just open it before you grip it. One reason why I want to open the club face is because I would like to use more of the bounce because with the bounce, it's not going to be so easy to dig into the sand. If you, close, if you hold the club feet square, high chance you will dig into the sand and the ball will come out a little low, all right? So you're just gonna make sure you open the club face a little bit before you grip it. Next, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the setup. I would like for you to put the ball just slightly left of middle because we still wanna catch a little bit of the sand on the way out. Number three, your weight still have to be a little bit on the left side, okay? Just gonna make, because we are using a pitching wedge, the ball is gonna carry a little bit further because the lesser the loft, the ball is gonna go further, right? So don't be worried, you won't be able to get the distance if you open your cut face. So open the cut face before you grip it, ball position more towards the left, weight on the left side, okay? So you're just gonna make sure you keep your hands passive throughout the shot. Reason is because we gotta make sure we keep the cut face open we do not want to rotate the club face at all. If you rotate the club face, you might end up scowling it or just hitting it straight into the lip. So with the left of the club, and when we open it a little bit, it's gonna create more side spin on the ball. So you're just gonna make sure you aim enough left, all right? So aim a bit more left, just gonna make sure you keep your wrist passive throughout, keep the club face open, do not rotate the club face at all. Ball more towards the left side, weight on the left, and just gonna make sure you commit to it and do not decelerate. Oh, I hit that pretty good actually. Oh, I quite like that shot. I caught it exactly how I want it, but it might not be enough club to get to the, the pin. Might go with my nine iron next time. As you can see earlier, the pitching wedge wasn't enough. I hit a great shot exactly how I want to hit it, but it wasn't enough. So I'm going to go with my nine iron this time. Same technique, just going to open the club face, but again, because it's less lofted compared to the pitching wedge, I got to aim a bit more left, all right? Okay. Open the club face a little bit, aim more left, hit it like a normal bunker shot. Just gotta make sure you keep your wrist passive throughout. Do not rotate the club face and trust it. Oh, that was a good one. That might run up towards the pin. All right, I have just hit a pitching wedge and a nine iron. Some people might choose to hit an eight iron. Just gotta make sure you know the situation. Sometimes when the sand is too hot, it might go a little bit further. Sometimes the sand is too soft, it might go less, all right? So just gotta make sure if you have time, hit some shots out of the bunker about 40 yards from the green, watch the ball, how it reacts, how far it run out. So you know for yourself, like what club to choose and what shot to hit when you're in this kind of situation, okay? So again, you gotta trust it, you gotta commit to it in order to hit it out onto the green. Some people might get worried that they're going to hit it too far when they have the 9 iron in their hand. Let's say my 9 iron goes about 125 to 130 yards, but I'm only about 40 yards from the green. 
but you got to remember that I've opened the club face, I'm hitting out of the bunker, you're going to definitely lose some distance. So it's just going to make sure you trust it and commit to it. All right, guys, this technique, you can definitely use it about 30 to 50 yards from the green. Just gonna make sure you analyze the situation, pick the right shot, pick the right club. Be a little bit more open with the club selection. You can use up to eight iron, as I mentioned earlier. Just try out different clubs, practice as much as possible, watch the ball, how it reacts, so you know what club to hit next time. All right, again, it's one of the toughest shots in golf. If it's me, I get it out somewhere on the green, I'm happy, all right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys again soon.